This morning, NASA is focusing its efforts on drones to help crews battling the nation's wildfires. We've been showing you the danger from unmanned aircraft in the path of air tankers and helicopters. John Blackstone looks at how technology could create or stop a disaster in the sky. Fighting fires from the air is already risky. But at least 13 times this year, drones have been reported operating over active fires in five states, presenting a new danger to firefighting aircraft and their crews. I saw it come right by my windscreen to the right. Cal Fire pilot Jason Thrasher had his first encounter with a drone over a fire last year. If a drone like that were to go into a tail rotor or a main rotor system, it could have uh, catastrophic consequences. CAL FIRE IS NOW WARNING DRONE PILOTS THAT IF THEY ENTER THE AIRSPACE, FIREFIGHTING WILL COME TO A STOP. THAT um, ALLOWS THAT FIRE TO POSSIBLY GROW BIGGER IN SIZE QUICKER, AND that's a, THAT'S A REAL PROBLEM. DRONES ARE INCREASINGLY SEEN AS A THREAT TO BOTH PRIVACY AND SECURITY, AND IT'S A PROBLEM THAT IS GROWING. THE CONSUMER ELECTRONICS ASSOCIATION ESTIMATES 700,000 DRONES WILL BE SOLD FOR RECREATIONAL USE IN THE UNITED STATES THIS YEAR. THE COST OF ENTRY INTO AIRSPACE HAS BECOME ZERO, LITERALLY, BECAUSE OF THE DRONES, WHICH IS EXCITING. BUT AT THE SAME TIME, WE HAVE TO PROTECT SOME KEY ASSETS ON THE GROUND. AMID DEMANDS FOR MORE REGULATION, NASA IS DEVELOPING AN AIR TRAFFIC CONTROL SYSTEM THAT WOULD DESIGNATE WHERE DRONES COULD AND COULDN'T FLY. One key to that system is finding a way to identify drones in flight in the same way airplanes are identified. Sean Suter's company, Microavionics, is building a chip to do that. You'd know miles in advance that it was approaching. And who it belonged to. And who it belonged to. As a new technology, drones are raising both hopes and fears, while their role in the future is still very much up in the air. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone in Tehama County, California.